Wow. J j just wow. So uh, the debate happened, and um, my prediction... Well, it, it wasn't exactly true. Um, I mean, in some ways it was, but pretty much, yeah, in in, in a lot of ways it um, was very much not accurate. So, um, yeah, a few takeaways from the debate. Uh, the main one is the obvious one. Uh, Joe Biden, well, he... he he didn't really have a good night. Um, in fact, that's kind of understating it. In fact, I, I think he he did really, really bad. Like, there's there's not really anything good I can say about his performance. A lot of people are trying to say, like, people who, um, you know, are very partisan Democrats are trying to say, oh, he actually did good because of substance and this and that. Um, well, I don't think the average debate watcher would understand any of the substance because he sounded so incoherent and this is probably the first time in my opinion that it's like super hard to make the case that he he isn't really like just cognitively declining and as president that is a very very concerning thing um and that was kind of clear um he did have a cold which did explain the raspiness but the incoherence i mean geez his brain like it, it it did like a microsoft update at times during the debate like the i beat medicare part of the debate especially it's he just i do think he he had substance and what i could grasp in what he was saying but the average debate watcher, there's no way they looked at Biden's performance and thought anything good of it. Um, and because of that, I I actually think that there was a winner of the debate by default. Um, I think it's kind of clear that Donald Trump won the first debate. Um, not because he had, like, a really good performance. I actually kind of thought he had, like, a flat performance. Like... He didn't really do incredible, but I could understand everything Donald Trump was saying, and I could not understand a single word Joe Biden was saying, and the coherence difference was kind of what sank Biden, and polls a after the debate show that this was, like, like accurate. I mean, two-thirds in this poll from CNN say that Donald Trump won the debate. I mean, this is, this was just not a good performance for Biden, and it kind of raises a few questions, in my opinion, on, like, I, I don't really know if this is something that can be grappled with on a debate stage, because Biden, you know, when he has a teleprompter, he'll do fine. Um, the State of the Union showed that, but, like, without a teleprompter, it, I do think it is harder, and, um, I think that this debate uh, very clearly gives us um, kind of a big indication that if Biden is reelected, um, the last two years of his second term, you know, I don't think he's going to croak or anything. I think some people overstate it. I mean, cognitive decline is not like the end for you. You can live with that. Um, but I do think in the final years of his presidency, if he gets a second term, like, 2026, 2027, 2028, we're, like, we're not gonna get any public appearances or any public, like, statements from Biden verbally, because I don't think he's gonna be able to do it anymore, and, geez, that really, that is something, I mean, that, that is what I took from the debate, and that's what a lot of people took from the debate, um, and I don't know how much it'll change the polls because, again, people really do not like Donald Trump. And that really is Joe Biden's saving grace. I think it's a saving grace for both Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Like, all their weaknesses, their saving grace is as that they have the other as their opponent. For Donald Trump, having Joe Biden as his opponent, well, gave him a victory in a debate that I don't think he did that great in. Um... <laughs> 
And Joe Biden's, you know, saving grace is that his opponent is having a lot of legal issues, is not very popular with the general public. Um, and, <laughs> I mean, is Donald Trump. I mean, this is... So, it's kind of like, you know, it... This really is a race to the bottom, and it looks like the one that really hurt the most, and the one that's kind of been bleeding the most, you know, overall generally seems to be Joe Biden. Um, so I was incorrect in assuming that debate would shift, would not shift things. Um, it definitely hurt Biden. Uh, it, a lot of polls haven't come out following the debates. But the few polls that we've gotten, yeah, it did this to the average. It was tied, now Trump is up plus one. And we'll see if it grows or stays the same after that, but definitely a hit for Biden and a default win for Trump. Um, yeah, um, I do think there's going to be a second debate. Will Biden do better? That remains to be seen. But yeah, that was, that was an interesting... Uh, that was an interesting thing to watch. And um, uh, to close it off, I really do hope that at some point we actually get a golf game between Trump and Biden. I, I, I want to see them play golf after that part. <laughs> God, what a mess.